you know, I'm doing my thing, but I'm still not where I want to be. Right. And the dream is to to be at the top of the top, performing in arenas. Because once you get to an arena, your life is, you know what I'm saying? And that's everybody's dream, arena. especially if you're from the East Coast, you know, Madison Square Garden, like that's where everybody right. to perform. So I right. get it. I definitely get it. Do you have any plans to tap into, um, like you said, you got to make a lot of like reggae style music or uh, Caribbean sounding music. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have any plans to like make any music with any Cape Verdean artists or like um, make any songs that's Cape, like Cape Verdean, uh, I guess you can say style. Like, do you mm -hmm. have any plans to do things like that with your music? Definitely. I got to lock back in with, the, with, with, with my people for Definitely. sure. Definitely got to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just waiting. You know, this first drop, I'm not really out there yet, but I've, I've been speaking to a couple artists, mm -hmm. but you know, I have no music out. So when they talk to me, it's like, Okay, bro, we'll work. But you know, bro. Right. <laughs> but these are just artists. But I know, like, cave writing people, yeah. bro, they 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 write out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially for me, the fact that I'm 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 kind of the face of, you know what I'm saying, cave Verde, mm -hmm. Even right. though there's a lot more, yeah. But I'm definitely one of the ones, and I feel like they're gonna be like, damn, we got somebody out there in the states doing this. Mm -hmm. This sounds fire. Why why wouldn't we support them? Right? Absolutely. Like, just find us on the map. So. You know, I love my people, so I really, I definitely got to lock back in and make some k ready music for sure. I got some, though. Uh-huh. I, I, I got some. Can't I wait. Got some for sure. So how do you plan on um, balancing it all, like, going from here? Um, now that you're going to be doing your music, you know, you have your YouTube. I know you do, like, uh, brand partnerships and things like that. How are you going right. to, how do you plan to balance all of that and give everything, you know, your all? Um, see, that, 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 that's a hard thing to do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm, I'm. I'm the type of person like I'll go with whatever God brings me. You know right. what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm always I'm going with the vibe, but I'm gonna get it done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they, they definitely gotta be balanced. Um, you gotta have a team to be able to have everything. You know what I'm saying? Straight. Right. So you know I got I got a team behind me. So yeah. we hey we gonna do what we gotta do. We gonna we gonna keep these deals coming. More coming, more blessings coming, all that. <laughs> Absolutely. And I wanted to ask you that because I know um, of some YouTubers who have said, you know, I'm going to quit YouTube and I'm just going to focus on my music. Do you think it'll ever get to that point for you where you're like, I'm over YouTube? Um, so the thing, I, bro, I'm not, I don't post a lot on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I was, I didn't, I never wanted to be a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. But the fact that people love watching you be yourself on camera why would you take that away from people so i don't think i should do that right um i like that you know i'm just showing i'm just showing people how i live and how i am being funny in a camera mm -hmm. i feel like that's dope like who wouldn't do that as an artist because yeah. now you got you got your music that they bang out to and now they can actually go on your youtube and watch what oh what did you what did he do today i want right. to see what he did today yeah. so you know it just keeps the people in so i don't think i would ever give up youtube i don't think i would do that that's not great. only because of the money, but like, bro, it's it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? To you get paid just to be yourself, yourself. on camera. Why? Why would you give that up? But you know, some uh -huh. some people think that they should focus more on music. But I feel like they both go together. So mm -hmm. I see why I, I wouldn't do that. So kind of piggybacking off of that question, um, do you feel that? Because you know, I watch your YouTube, and I'm pretty sure everybody else does. Do you feel that, um, as far as like your dating life and just having time for dating, do you think that you would be able to fit that in with everything else that you're doing, or have you been doing that perfectly fine <laughs> with no issues? <laughs> um, dating, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's the thing though, because a lot of people have different meanings for dating. Right. Dating could, dating could be vibing, and then yeah. there's dating that like we're talking yeah. for the next level, uh -huh. and that I'm not ready for that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you're just vibing right now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just vibing, cooling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, I, I see behind a smile. I think it's a little bit more than that. <laughs> and I am vibing, you know what I'm saying? But, um, it, bro, it's a lot to, mm -hmm. to, to go into a relationship. There's a lot you have to put in. Yeah. There's a lot of time. I don't see a problem with me doing that, but I'm not ready to give all that right now. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel you. Mm -hmm. Right now we just vibing. We just vibing. <laughs> we just vibing. <laughs> What's the day in the life for D Rock when he's not busy making YouTube videos, making music? What's a regular day for you where you're just not filming? What does that look um, like for you? Jim. Okay. I've been I've been trying to get right. You know this quarantine mm -hmm. guy. Hey, I put a little a few pounds on. Um, <laughs> we all so do. Jim. 
gym, uh -huh. um, home, you know, I try to eat very healthy, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, video games. I, I, I like playing video games. I don't play a lot of it though, but okay. I like to go to the park, play soccer. Mm -hmm. You know, I still gotta, I'm rough now, but you know, <laughs> that's, that's what keeps, it, it makes the day fun for me if I'm not yeah. doing music. And that's, I barely get to do that. So it's even more fun when I, when I have free time, you know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Can you tell me what has been, if you had this happen to you, what has been like the craziest encounter that you've had with like a subscriber, like somebody you're walking down the street and you see a fan. Have you ever had like a crazy encounter with anybody where they're just wilding and you're like, calm down. Like, have you ever had um, that with you? I, they didn't, there was this one time, they didn't go crazy, but yeah. this girl just started like sobbing. Like, I'm like, oh, oh, hold on, <laughs> wait. Uh -huh. I'm, um, you know what I'm saying? But it was dope to see that. But it was like, oh, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm human. I'm, right. It's just me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, I gave her a hug, gave her, took a picture with her. And that's what it was. But it really, I was like, what? Yeah. You that had to be surreal, like, to see that. Oh, no, for sure. Like, so I'm like, girl, <laughs> hey, hold on. You ain't got to do all that yet. Right. Don't do that. <laughs> that's hilarious. Really okay. Yeah. So, let me explain what we do on Show and Tell, right? There's a part of the show where we do a game and we play a game with every artist who comes through here. Every single right. game is unique to that artist. Everybody doesn't get the same game. So we have okay. a game for you that I would like to play with you if you're up for it. Okay. And I know you do a lot of YouTube videos with games like this, so this should be nothing to you. This should uh, be good. That's so right. let me pull it up for you. The game that we're going to play today is called Would You Rock With That or Would You Rather Rock With? So it's kind of like, would you rather? Would you rather do this or that? Okay. You think you up for All this? Right. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So y'all pay attention. <laughs> We're gonna get to know D Rock right now. All right, let's yeah. go to the first one. Would you rather beef with Fifty Cent publicly, and we know how that goes, or would you rather tell the world that you agree with Six Nine and everything that's going on with them? What would you rather do? Fuck. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beef with hey, hey, yo, hold on. I'm not, I, 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 bro, I don't agree with 6 ix 9 uh -huh. I don't agree with what he did at all. So I'm going to go with beefing with 50, but. Oh, good luck. Right. <laughs> but you. But then again, like, you could tell 6 ix 9 wasn't built for that. Right. So when he snitched, a lot of people was mad at him, right? Yeah. But we all knew he wasn't about that. That's so what he I was just, yeah. He was literally just a regular kid that. Pe bro, people, they were bagging him up because he was going to make him money. Right. And then you, you put his life in jeopardy, and now he snitched. Mm -hmm. Now you're mad at him. But you try, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. kidnapped him. But I'm going to be for 50 because I don't agree with the snitching thing, especially coming from where I come from. Right. But, you know, 6 9 he wasn't about that. So. But I'm going to go with 50, though. We're going with 50. Good luck. That's all I can say about that. Hey, shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next one. Would you rather... Dance on TikTok for the rest of your life, right? That's uh -huh. what you do. Or make music for the rest of your life, but you can't, it's supposed to say can't have an Instagram. You can't have an Instagram. Can't have an Instagram at all or can't no. have the following. So you can make your music, but you can't promote it on Instagram or anything like that. I, I, I'm a, I'll definitely go with making music. Okay. But, yeah. but no Instagram. Even no though you Instagram. have like 600, how many followers do you have? Six thirty-two. Yeah. Yeah. And you can go without Instagram. Okay, let's go to the next one, y'all. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> Would you rather make a song with Drake or make a song with Chris Brown? This is an easy one. Or is it? That's not easy. That's definitely <laughs> not easy, bro. You know, because you know Drake. I get on a song with Drake. I'm gonna bring the island vibes. That's going up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like the one with with it's not like the one with Chris ain't gonna go up. But you know Drake is just Drake. Anything he touches, just I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna go with Drake. Okay, I like yeah, that choice for you. I think that's a good choice. So I can definitely see you doing something with Chris Brown. Hey, I would love to. For Let's sure. go to the next one. next one. Would you rather quit YouTube forever, but you'll mm -hmm. be a successful music artist, or would you rather be a successful music artist, but all of your loyal YouTube subbies they hate you, they don't like you? anymore quit youtube and be a quit youtube and be a successful music artist for sure but earlier what did you say earlier that you would never stop youtube right 
Yeah, but <laughs> why would I? So, okay, mm -hmm. only my subscribers want to like me or, like, people want to like my, like, you know what I'm saying? Just your so subscribers, they wouldn't like you anymore. But you'll be a successful artist. You just would, like, where you came from, YouTube, they just wouldn't like you no more. I'm going to go with the YouTube. It's okay. I'll get rid of YouTube and become a successful okay. artist. <laughs> I think people survive off that. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. And I think we have one more after this. Would you rather sign a $10 million music deal, but you have to make trash songs for 10 years? Or okay. would you rather sign a $10 million music deal, but you have to put on one publicity stunt a month that will ruin your reputation. I have so many typos in there. What would you rather do? Ruin my reputation? Trash songs? <laughs> Yo, what? Where you come up with these questions, bro? <laughs> trash songs. So you're purposely just making trash music for 10 years. Yeah. But you signed, you signed this deal, so you have no choice but to do it. Would you rather do that, or you have to put on a publicity stunt every month, but it's going to ruin your career? What would you rather do? It's going to ruin my career? I'll just make trash music for 10 years, I guess. <laughs> That's the same. If it's going to ruin my career, then, I mean, it's over with. Okay, last one. As a famous music artist, let's, let's imagine, you know, you're that successful as a music artist. Would you rather date a 10 with a bad personality or a six with an amazing personality. And now that can be subjective to you. Whatever you consider a 10 to be is that. Whatever you consider a six to be is that. Which one would you rather date? With a bad personality? Yeah, but she's a 10. She's a, she's a whole baddie. And then you have a six, but she's can you amazing. Can you, can you fix the personality as it goes? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, you got to <laughs> take her as she is. <laughs> I'll go with a six. A six. Okay. I'll go with, I love I'll that. Go with Very humble. I love that. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's all we have for you today. I guess anything else that we should be kind of looking out for for D Rock. Um, what's next for you? Um, I know you're probably going through a lot of like artist development right now, like doing right. your interviews and getting ready for like press and things like that. What can we expect from you? Right now, I'm gonna get back on my YouTube grind because it's been a while because I was just back home with my family, so I stopped for a little bit. I'm gonna get back on my YouTube grind and and the song is coming. It's Absolutely. the first. It's coming this month. You know, I'm just praying that people going to love it. So right. that's that, that that's what's coming for sure. Music. Music about to come crazy. Music. Okay. And do you have any other passions or talents that we would just never expect from D-Rock? What is something that we just wouldn't expect you to know how to do or it's something that you're into? What is that? Uh, Playing soccer. Okay. I think people think I play soccer. They're like, oh, you look like a basketball player. I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm an iron guy. You know, uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm an African. But yeah, I, I was... <laughs> I was pretty good at that. Okay. And um, now I'm going to go to some fan questions because I know we have about 15 minutes before Instagram kicks us off of here. Okay. So I have about seven questions for you. I'm going to, you, you think you're cool to rock out with some fan questions? Yeah. Let's okay, cool. let's get to it. Let's get to it, y'all. All right. The first question is from Roses are, can you see the question? Roses are red. Yeah. How do you and your lace is fried. That's funny. How do you grow your hair that good? People always ask this question. Um, you just let your hair grow. You take care of it, though, but, you know, but you just let it grow, and it, it does its own thing. You can't really make your hair grow. It's going to do it on its own. Do right. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely think it comes from within, too. Like, you have to make sure you're healthy and stuff like that as well. Oh, no, absolutely. Okay, let's go to the next one. Somebody said, um, from Candy, Candu, can you tell him to talk about a kind of Cape Verdean song? Um, maybe they want you to just talk about one of your favorite Cape Verdean songs. I'm not sure. So Moderna, Moderna is the type of it's a tr it's the traditional music. Okay, in Cape Verde. I just like something. I, mm -hmm. Right. So that's what that's what I grew up listening to because my dad. So mm -hmm. that's what you know. The that's what the older generation loves because right. there's a lot of pain in a lot of you know. Um, they talk about being slaves, and you know that's really. Absolutely. What happened way back then, because we were slaves to Portuguese people, to Portugal. Mm -hmm. Portugal used to own us. So that's what Moderna is. It's just, you know, I feel like it, it's it's very African, but it's it's different. A lot of pain in the song. Right. But wow. it's, but we're such a mixed country, though. Uh huh. You have Portuguese, you have the Netherlands. So it's a different type of <clears throat> African music. 
but that's that's the pain in what we we have in our music for sure i love that somebody asks when are you going to start posting on youtube again <laughs> <laughs> i knew that one was coming <laughs> i was supposed to be today mm -hmm. but i'm in the process of moving to a um, house so this week tomorrow 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 you promise you can't make copies and don't keep them d-rock so make sure you keep it hey I, I got <laughs> tomorrow i ain't gonna sleep tonight i'm gonna just post tomorrow okay you have a question from buffo on the beat how do you go about finding new beats do you search on youtube or do you have pr producers that reach out to you how do you get your beats uh, um since i have a manager he has mm -hmm. he has these producers that always send him packs yeah but um I have a I have a music email that if anybody want to send me a pack they could just ask me. Mm -hmm. Um, I used to do the YouTube thing, but you know, after you get a manager, they're like, bro, a lot of people have heard this beat. Mm -hmm. They probably liked it. They probably bought it. So now I just get beat. I get like beat packs from different mm -hmm. producers. That's so true. I just send them my email and they just send the beat pack over, and that's how I go about finding them. Okay, another question. Somebody said, "Who's this from?" Uh, Jania. What's your favorite color and what inspired you to do YouTube? And I feel like you kind of answered the second question, but you can go ahead and, you know, reiterate. Yeah. Um, favorite color, yellow. That's a good color. I don't color. know, I don't know why, favorite. but you know, it makes the brother shine more. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a meaning behind the color yellow. It's very uh, positive, very, you know, it has a okay. meaning behind it. Makes sense then. Um, let's see, next one. Uh, okay, somebody asked... From, uh, I can't say her name, Anita Rosa. Um, what's your favorite Posada what? song? And I love your curls. Posada. Um, favorite Posada song. Definitely by Nelson Freitas. Mm -hmm. Love his music, but I can't think of a specific song. Mm -hmm. But from Nelson Freitas, for sure. That's dope. Posada is another, diff is a de is another type of music in K-Bird, by the way. See, I'm learning. I am learning today. Thank y'all hey, so I much. I got you. <laughs> okay, I, got you. I think you already answered. You don't have to answer this one. Someone asked, what island are you from? But you, you've said it multiple times. Right. Well, I'm from Cape Verde. I'm mm -hmm. from Cape Verde, 10 islands on the west coast of Africa. That's where I'm from, for y'all that don't know. And then someone wants to know, I'm just going to throw this out there just because, do you want, I guess, can you do another video with Savvy? Yeah, I'll post a video with Savvy tomorrow. She just posted one of both of us, so y'all can go check that out. Mm -hmm. If y'all miss seeing us together, but I'm gonna post one tomorrow. I got y'all. And I guess I'll leave this as the last one. Someone asks, "Would you prefer to have deserts or mountains?" <laughs> mountains. That's a very odd question, but hey, what do you prefer? What mountains? Like mountains? I, I guess. Like I guess. Do you prefer deserts or mountains? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll go with deserts. Oh, desert. Like desert, oh, like Lord. the sand and stuff. See, that's where, yeah. yep, that's where my, my, my cave writing kicked in. I'm like, deserts. <laughs> <laughs> um, deserts or mountains? Deserts. I've been on mountains. I ain't never been on no desert, so I've been on mountains. Yeah, I'm a mistake to the, the mountains. That's cool. And somebody asked, I just saw this comment um, randomly. What's your favorite soccer team? Barcelona. Even though I got the Mexico on right now, but, you know, I got to represent all the people. <laughs> Mm, dope, dope. So y'all, if y'all don't have any more questions, because I think that's about it. Someone's asking, how did you grow your hair that long? Um, how did you grow it to that length? I think people are very fascinated with your hair. Maybe you can yeah. put a little spill on that real quick. <laughs> Tell um, us the products you use, you know, things like that. Are you? That's the thing. Like, I don't have a specific product because you know, curly hair sometimes gets tired of a certain product, so mm -hmm. you got to use another one. Absolutely. Um. So I use a, a lot of just different curling pro products. And how did I let it get long? I just, you know, let it grow. I need a trim, though. Definitely need a trim. I actually want to cut it. But you then I can't because people going to curse me out. I made a joke one time and lost, like, 2,000 followers. Wow. You know what? I saw a video of, um, I think you were trying that filter, the ball filter. Uh -huh. Did anybody think that was wrong? <laughs> Some people said I look good. <laughs> Some people was like, bro, you better not. That's but, hilarious. And the last question I'll ask you is, do you speak Portuguese? I and do. I think, okay. And I guess, I can you say something to them in Portuguese? Because I'm pretty sure they want to hear you say that. Uh, sign in Portuguese. Uh, Olá. Eu chamo, <laughs> eu chamo Davis. 
and that's it. Okay, I, did I, feel <laughs> I don't like speak the best that Portuguese, but it's a little bit. <laughs> what happened? But thank you so much, D Rock, for coming through to show and tell. I really enjoyed this interview. I, I hope that um, I gave you a great interview. I don't know if this is one of your first ones, but I'm really excited yeah, for you. Definitely one of my first. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for you. Um, I love the music, what I heard so far. I can't wait to hear more. You know, we'll right. be watching you on YouTube and whatnot. If right. there's anything else that we need to know about or we just didn't get to, you can let the people know. And you can tell them where to follow you. Where can we find your music when it drops? All of that. Um, music is going to be on all platforms. Mm -hmm. um, hey, just stay tuned. The rock is going, you know, I'm a, it's going to be a new journey for me. So I just hope y'all are with me on this. And mm -hmm. thank you for the support. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I truly appreciate you for this. Mm -hmm. And yeah. We good. We good. We going up. We going up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> All right, y'all. So like I always tell y'all before we get out of here, make sure you stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Hopefully this situation will be over sooner than later. Thank y'all for joining me. We do this every Thursday, 7 p.m. New artists every week. I had to quit. I had to get D-Rock on here. I love right. what he's doing. I support. And I will see y'all next week. I hope you guys are here. Thank and you've you. had the most viewers so far. So congratulations to you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I come on here, hey, we bringing 500,000. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Thanks, yeah. T-Rock. Everybody take hey, care. I'll see you guys thanks. next week. Have a good night, everybody. Everybody, y'all.